Hey guys, Noel here, and it is Monday, and we got a little bit of free time on our hands, so that'll be fun to do a video game review for the video game section of the Noel Comics YouTube channel. We're going to be reviewing Super Plus. Uh, this is uh, an arcade ROM that we're going to play. It's actually a hack of the actual arcade ROM. Now, uh, the reason I'm doing this review is uh, kind of twofold. Um, I saw that uh, SVC Chaos uh, actually got re-released um, on Steam over the weekend. And from what I've heard, it's going to be uh, available on uh, the Switch and PS4. So I'm going to go check that out. And in the trailer that I saw of it, it said it's got Athena um, and uh, what's that, Red Armiter? I probably mispronounced that name. Uh, the, the hidden Capcom boss from Ghouls and Ghosts. Uh, unlocked off the get-go in addition to all the hidden characters. Um, and there's actually a hack of uh, SVC Chaos uh, that does that as well. So before I actually get into, and I will review the official re-release of that game soon, I haven't even downloaded it yet, I wanted to check out, do a review of the Super Plus hack. Now, uh, the other reason I uh, did this review is because one of my more popular video game reviews on the channel, one of my favorite ones that I did at the old place, was SVC Chaos SNK vs. Capcom on the uh, original Xbox. And this game is actually one of the reasons why I bought the original Xbox. I bought the original Xbox for SVC Chaos, Shenmue 2, and Dead or Alive. I was really excited about those exclusives that it had. But ironically, uh, SVC Chaos uh, is the new release of it is uh, not on the new Xbox platforms. It's not on the Xbox Series X or Xbox One or anything. It's only on the Switch and the PS4 and Steam, which is kind of nuts considering, you know, this game in the United States was a big Xbox exclusive for people like me who like 2D fighting games. Well, without further ado, let's get down to checking out uh, SVC Chaos uh, SNK vs. Capcom Super Plus. We're going to be playing the uh, arcade ROM of this on the Super Console X. Let's get to it. Okay, now this game um, has a very kind of distinct aesthetic uh, compared to the Capcom-made offerings and even the SNK Neo Geo Pocket Color offering uh, of uh, SNK versus Capcom or Capcom versus uh, SNK. Uh, this game, uh, as opposed to being kind of like a really over-the-top fan servicey tribute to the King of Fighters and Street Fighter games, uh, this is got this very weird otherworldly vibe to it, and um, it's uh, I believe the story goes uh, we are uh, in purgatory, uh, and you know depending on how you play, the final boss either takes place in heaven or hell, and then after that you are returned to the uh, world from which you came. Uh, so Athena from the the Famicom Athena is the SNK boss and we're fighting Earthquake right now. Now this I believe has 36 characters and there are some pretty nice deep cuts here. Um, you know we get Dimitri from Darkstalkers, we get Earthquake from Samurai Spirits. Um, we get Rock, uh, no we don't get Rock, we get Zero uh, from the Game Boy Advance Mega Mans. Um, so lots of really just weird stuff and um it, the thing i like a lot about this game is that it depict this was actually a neo geo game it's one of the last neo geo games came out in 2003 and i was always into these types of games um it, the thing i liked a lot about it is it used the neo geo aesthetic to show uh the the uh the capcom characters which was really interesting um and i thought it did a really nice job showing that the gameplay is very good i really like athena um to play as her because you can just be like really cheap here 
I'm, uh, I'm not one of these people that's like, oh, this game is busted, it's terrible, throw it out! Like, no, I mean, I don't, I don't care, I just like the game to be fun, you know? And if you want to be cheap, go for it. If you want to play competitively with an even playing field, go for it. Um, this game had uh, also some really cool, uh, you know, things where characters would have, like, kind of custom transformations. Um, so that was pretty cool. Oh, I'm fighting uh, Balrog here, Vega Sama. <laughs> this game, okay, so the Capcom games did everything in the King of Fighters 3 on 3 format. This game, the SNK Neo Geo console, Capcom versus SNK, does everything in the Street Fighter format. So, you know, SNK uh, was doing things the Capcom way, and, uh, you know, Capcom did things the SNK way. So this is m much more like Street Fighter 2, whereas, you know, the Capcom games were much more like King of Fighters. So it was a nice kind of utilizing your rival's style for your offering. Um, again, like, the Capcom games looked, you know, beautiful, big, you know, vibrant anime sprites. And I, I don't know, I think it's just kind of interesting how, you know, SNK decided opted for, like, the kind of the 2.5D, uh, really highly detailed Neo Geo sprite art here. Um, you know, it's a very old school, but very, a very, very well done. This game, this cartridge on the Neo Geo AES is like this, the price of a car. As you turn into the Famicom Athena. See, look at, look, I mean, it's just so cool seeing how Ve Vega in like the, the King of Fighters style. Or like, you know, uh, you know, like... The Street Fighter Alpha Zero games, you know, that was, you know, one way to see the classic Street Fighter characters in a modern sprite aesthetic using that really beautiful anime style. But it's really cool to see, like, if you were to continue on with the Street Fighter 2 aesthetic, um, it, it would look more like this. It would look like this because the King of Fighters games use that Street Fighter 2 style. Um, and it's really, really cool because, you know, the Neo Geo was a console, it was hardware that came out in 1990. So this is pushing that 1990s hardware into the 21st century, literally. So now we get to see uh, Goki right here, Akuma. And also, like Street Fighter Alpha 3, Street Fighter Alpha 3 was uh, notable for having, you know, dialogue with, uh, with characters. Uh, but actually, um, that, that really started with the Art of Fighting which the Street Fighter Alpha series took a lot of inspiration from. And that's really why they put Dan in the game, to try to show that, you know, even though we're kind of ripping off the format of Art of Fighting, doing a prequel to Fatal Fury, we're doing a prequel to Street Fighter 2, you know, be, you know, acknowledge the fact also that Ryo and, and you know, Robert play just, you know, like Ryu and Ken, so... Yeah, a lot of just really, like, muted, kind of ethereal, drab backgrounds here that kind of contrast to this, I don't know, intense music that kind of matches both the gameplay and then that kind of weird, like, apocalyptic, barren vibe. Uh, there was a, a Chinese manga um, that kind of expanded upon the lore of this game where, you know, it talks about how all the characters are in this fighting tournament in the afterlife because Iori uh, killed himself to try to get into this afterlife fighting tournament and M. Bison wanted to, um, you know, possess Iori, so he, like, nuked all the fighters. And so now there's this, like, weird otherworldly fighting tournament that's happening here. I mean, it's just, it's, it's a very, very odd... Um, it's a very odd story, very odd take, tact, uh, take and tact for SNK to take. Um, you know, considering how Capcom did the, like, Hey 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 Music Champ style gameplay and aesthetic with, you know, like, dance music and throwback stages to the Neo Geo and Street Fighter games. Ah, this is, this is really interesting seeing Dan in the SNK style. I mean, you, they actually did this with, um, I think it was King of Fighters 2001. They had uh, another Robert, which was basically just Robert and Dan's outfit as the one of the hidden sub-characters you could use for uh, the Art of Fighting team. 
Yeah, I really like this game. I, you know, and I, you know, like I said, like eight years ago, I did a review of this game. I it was very evident how much I loved this game. Um, this game was viewed as, you know, by a lot of detractors at the time as not being very good. But that's just because there was a big kind of push in American gaming to, you know, do everything kind of 3D, uh, Grand Theft Auto style, you know, which, I mean, that's fine for what it is. But if you're someone like me who, you know, when the Dreamcast was out, was all about Marvel versus Capcom and Street Fighter Alpha 3, same thing on the original PlayStation, you know, I was always about 2D fighting games, and so I really enjoyed... I enjoyed this game and also the other uh, exclusive on the Xbox in the United States, uh, King of Fighters Neo Wave, which was another attempt to use the King of Fighters uh, into the 21st century. But that actually used the uh, Thomas engine. There we go. Now, this game has... Um, this game has, like Fatal Fury, um, Mark of the Wolves, uh, it's got kind of like two endings. It's like there's the true ending once you fulfill certain conditions in the fighting, and then it's also got um, the kind of generic ending, which is like, you know, this kind of thing that's like, the real ending is out there, you know. This game also is the first appearance in video games of Violent Ken, who appeared in the Street Fighter animated movie. And it kind of expands the aesthetic of Violent Ken to kind of uh, have that kind of Iori, kind of Orochi style vibe mixed with, you know, the Violent Ken character from the Street Fighter animated movie. So that was a real nice deep cut that uh, SNK did. You know, they, they did a lot of really cool obscure Capcom characters in this game, so I really, really like that. I mean, I, I like the much more kind of standard SV, uh, Capcom versus SNK stuff, but the SVC Chaos, they did a really nice job giving the game its own unique aesthetic. Although, I mean, personally, I, I mean, I wish SNK also did a Neo Geo game that kind of had the vibe and style and tone of their handheld uh, one, which was also an excellent game, which we have a review of on the channel. But uh, this, this is really cool. Spamming my little mermaid tail attack. Turn Ken into a orangutan for some reason. I don't know. Oh, here comes Ryu. So now this dialogue would happen when you unlock Athena as the final boss. Um, but the actual level you would be playing in is heaven. I've never gotten the red armator uh, to the, the final. I've never gotten him. I've gotten Athena a bunch of times as the true final boss. There's something you gotta do to get him to go to the hell level where you have to like, it's got, you gotta like, finish off your opponents with like a weak attack so like they're blocking but die anyways it's kind of complicated i've never been able to quite do it but i played the crap out of the xbox version of this game i've not spent as much time with the arcade rom i'm curious to see what this is going to play like in the official re-release i heard they put some kind of disclaimer on the game like we're sorry, back in 2003, it was okay to show attractive women in video games. Please don't cancel us. I mean, it's like, what are we doing here, man? Ryu turns into a warthog. Um, Dimitri, when he does the Midnight Bliss, uh, everyone's got a unique uh, sprite transformation. I thought that was a really cool touch. Wow. 
riot of bloody ori. Yeah, depending, like, your Riot of Bloody Ori and Violent Ken are, like, sub-bosses. Chinese manga when it was released and uh, I think it was dubbed into English at one point. I could be wrong about that if it's an official or unofficial dub, but I think it was called like the Bizarre Encounter. challenge is going to be if we can beat Akuma or Serious Mr. Karate. Oh, we're fighting Serious Mr. Karate. is smart. Don't button mash. carefully here. did it. Alright. Let's see if we get the true ending here. <laughs> it turns into a bear. No, I didn't get it. I don't really know, honestly, off the top of my head. Uh, I mean, maybe she doesn't even have a true ending because she's like a hidden boss here. Um... But this is the, uh, she was nowhere to be found. It doesn't even mention her name. Only the truth can be discovered in the depths of darkness. Well, there you have it, guys. I love the, I love the closing credits music on this game. So I'll sit back and listen to it. So, you know, there you have it, guys. This is uh, SBC Chaos uh, Super Plus, the arcade ROM. 
um, that was, you know, enhanced, I believe, uh, by Chinese hackers. I don't think this is the official version. You can find other, like, uh, kind of hacked arcade ROMs for SNK games from this time period, like King of Fighters 2004, which is, which I should probably do a review of. It's like King of Fighters 2003 with, like, all the boss characters unlocked and stuff and playable. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, guys, well, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give this game a uh, 9,000 out of 10. It's uh, it's good stuff. And uh, play it on uh, Super Console X, play it on computer, play it on the PS4 or Switch, or play it on the OG Xbox with your hard copy. Until next time, guys, my name is Noel. You take care, and I'll see you in the very near future. Bye-bye.